Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte, and happy Friday. Today's story is PowerPoint Mouse Over Malware. In a blog post today, one of WatchGuard's partners, Trend Micro, talked about a new technique that malicious PowerPoints are using to run unauthorized code on your computer. In other videos, you've probably heard me talk about how Office documents can be used to deliver malware because they have malicious macros. And it's also commonly known that they can use other scripts, like JavaScript or Visual Basic, to create a Office document that actually connects to a command and control channel and downloads malicious code on your computer. In any case, in their blog post, Trend Micro researchers talk about a new way that PowerPoint documents are being used to deliver malicious code. In this case, rather than a malicious macro or JavaScript, the PowerPoint has some mouse over code so that when you hover over a link, it actually starts PowerShell on your computer, which is basically a command line shell, and it can use that to do malicious things. This is a seemingly new technique that some people may not be aware of, so it might be an interesting way to sneak new malicious Office documents into your network. Now the good news is, by default, most modern versions of Office will actually warn you if you hover over a link that's been booby-trapped in this way. It will tell you that it's trying to do some security violation or, or execute a program, and will ask you if you really want to do it. So to make this video short, I just wanted to warn you about this new technique. If you want to know the details about it, check out the reference section in the blog post associated with this video. I have a number of links talking about it, including a particular white paper. To protect yourself, I would first recommend that you make sure not to disable any of Office's security features, but more importantly, you might want to warn your users about this new technique and to tell them to be careful when hovering over links in Office documents. If they get any pop-ups asking them to authorize something, make sure that they know to say no. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.